You're about to look inside the Illinois prison where the Obama administration plans to house dozens of terror suspects currently being held at Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. Now, it is a controversial move, and people who live nearby, they're speaking out very passionately about this. Our reporter Cheryl Jackson is in Sterling, Illinois. And Cheryl, tell us what's happening there. Give us a sense of the scene. Well, there are several hundred people still inside trying to convince the commission to vote their way. And the commission is expected tonight to vote on whether to close the prison and sell it to the federal government. They have elected officials this commotion is about this place, real- Thompson Prison. The state-of-the-art facility is top of the line but nearly empty, providing no income to the people who live here. The federal government wants to buy it and funnel an estimated billion dollars into this sleepy, struggling community over the next four years. They also plan to create two or 3,000 jobs. Who could have a problem with that? Well, Joy Arrington does. I'm against it because I don't believe the terrorists should be on any U.S. soil, let alone Illinois property. About 100 detainees at Thompson will be transferred from Guantanamo Bay. Some believe those transfers come to Illinois with too high a price tag. They bought down the World Trade Towers. You're inviting nuclear warfare. They will stop at nothing. The Obama administration has promised to put a second security fence around the already supermax facility. They guarantee all health care needed at Thompson Prison will happen on the property. No detainees at local hospitals. But the security measures don't seem to be good enough. My concern is not the prisoners getting out. It's you're making us a target for foreigners to attack on American soil. Others say a prisoner is a prisoner. The issue is the economy. We've got guys that have been laid off for a long time, losing their insurance, losing their houses. Um, you know, just trying to put food on the table. Brad Long is the president of the Northwestern Illinois Building and Construction Trades Council. He says unemployment in the construction business is higher than 30% in this area. The community is also in debt. That's because they built a new water treatment plant when the prison was constructed. Put it somewhere in the United States, why not in our backyard where we've got a state-of-the-art facility that um, is not being utilized. Now the governor can override the commission's decision, and the governor's decision can be challenged by technicality. Suzanne? Thank you. Cheryl Jackson in Illinois. Thank you. The good news today is it's getting a stimulus. The bad news is it's from Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, wearing jumpsuits. About 100 terror detainees will be sent to the underused state prison in Thompson. And a debate is now going on about the question of whether or not these jobs from upgrading the prison and increasing security are worth the potential risks. Cheryl Jackson has been at a public hearing on the road from Thompson in Sterling, Illinois, and she joins us now. So, Cheryl, what are people saying about this today? Well, you know, you have people on both sides of the issue. If you look over here, you can see protesters are already lined up, ready to go into this public hearing where commissioners are going to decide whether or not to close Thompson Prison and resell it to the federal government. Now, some people are saying this is a great opportunity. Other people are saying they do not want alleged terrorists in their neighborhood. So here we are, people on both sides of this issue, people upset on one side and people happy and thinking that it's going to help their economy on the other. So, Cheryl, you got a tour of the facility there in Thompson today. What did you see? What did you think? Well, you know, Tom, we went inside there. We got a good idea of what it's like to be in a supermax prison, doors locking one after another when you walk from one place to another, high fences with razor wire all the way through, signs warning you to sit down if you hear gunfire. So it was a a good look at what a maximum security prison looks like. And even for a lay person, it looks like a prison that's very highly secure. And now, you know, the Obama administration has promised to put another perimeter fence around it and also to take the medical facilities and make them so that the prisoners never need to actually leave the prison. So some people saying we don't want alleged terrorists in our neighborhood. Other people saying they won't be in our neighborhood. They'll be in the prison. All right. Well, thanks so much for joining us with the latest out there and hope the uh, continuing debate goes well as it winds down. Thanks so much for your time.